Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about sketch entity relations. I've created a new sketch, and I'm going to activate the line command. I'll place my first point. Notice as I move the cursor around, the vertical and horizontal glyphs appear in a little yellow square. You may be wondering which one is which. There is a way to tell. Right at the center of the graphic area, at the origin point, we've got these red long and short arrows here. The long arrow always represents the vertical direction, and the short arrow always represents the horizontal direction, so you can use this as your guide. Now if I left click to place my second point while a glyph is visible, in this case the horizontal relation glyph, I automatically apply a horizontal relation to the line. Let's create another line. Here I see an example of the perpendicular glyph. Once again, if I left click while this glyph is visible, I apply the relation to my line. For this example, I'm going to create a line without relations. And I'll just double click to end the line chain. Let's click the green check mark and exit the line tool. Now, for example, if I want to create a line that's parallel to these two lines, I control select these two lines before I activate the line tool. Now, I place my first point, and as I move my cursor around, the parallel relation eventually becomes visible. Left click to accept that relation. Let's create another line, and another. Right click and select to close the tool. By the way, if you don't see relations in your graphic area, go to View on the main menu strip and select Sketch Relations. Now we've got two parallel relations and a horizontal relation. Notice next to the parallel relation, we've got the numbers 0 and 1. When I mouse over the relation glyph, the corresponding entities are highlighted. If I left click, I can select the relation, and a double click launches the Relations Property Manager. Here we see the relation type. This box above lists the entities selected for that relation, lines 3 and 6 in our case. Let's accept and exit, and activate the line tool again. Place my first point. We have the rubber band effect and numerical feedback. Notice that I don't have any yellow feedback lines. In order to create a line parallel to this line, for example, I just need to scratch it. Now when I move the cursor, the line with which I want to establish a parallel relation is highlighted. Let's scratch it. Now we can create a second parallel line. Right click and select to close the tool. Now when I select this line, the Property Manager opens for the Line Tool, and here we have the option to add horizontal, vertical, or fixed relations. I'm going to apply a horizontal relation, and accept. Notice this line, and this line moved as well, since we had a parallel relation present. OK, let's window select and delete this geometry. And let's activate the three-point arc tool and create a few arcs. There's the coincident relation glyph. Let's create a second arc coincident at that point, something like this. And another coincident arc. Right-click and select to close the tool. I'm going to control select the first two arcs. Here we've got the option to choose from five different relations, co-radial, tangent, concentric, equal, and fix. I'm going to select tangent. Now we have two arcs tangent at this point, with the tangent relation appearing in the green box right here. Once again, if I double click on the tangent relation, I open the property manager for the relation, and I see the relation type, as well as the entities that are affected.
Next, I'm going to select this middle arc and activate the Line tool. Let me place my first point. Here we've got the option to create a line that's tangent to the arc or normal to the arc. Let's create a line that's tangent to the arc. I'm just going to scratch the arc with the cursor. Now we can create a line tangent to or normal to this arc. And right click and select to close the tool. My yellow feedback lines are a little bit light. I'm just going to make them a bit darker. Let's go to Options, Colors Branch, scroll down and select Temporary Graphics. Let's click Edit. I'm going to choose a slightly darker shade of yellow and click OK. Let's activate the Line tool now. I mouse over the arc until I see the coincident relation, and now I click. Here's the rubber band effect. And left click. Notice our feedback lines are a little more visible now. Let's just make them a bit darker. Double click to close the line tool. Now go back to Options, Colors, Temporary Graphics, and click the Edit button. Let's just make it a couple shades of yellow darker, and click OK, and Accept, and let's see how it looks. OK, now you can see the feedback lines a little better. Let's press Escape to exit the Line tool. And this concludes our lesson about sketch relations.